Hey everybody, I'm Seth Bodner, president here at the University of Montana. And uh, as we're all settling into our new normal, I wanted to reach out to say hello, to give an update on a few things happening here at UM, and, and to remind you of all the resources we have in place uh, to support you as we complete this semester and look toward both summer and the fall. But first, you know, I just want to share with you how much all of us here on campus miss you how much we're very much looking forward to the day when we can all be together again, uh, hopefully in the not too distant future. Uh, you know, I'm chatting with you today from my home here in Missoula, but I can tell you I would much rather be with you out on the Oval on this beautiful afternoon or, or seeing you at the food zoo every day or at many of the, any a number of the, the many great events on campus uh, on a typical day. But look, social distancing remains critical in slowing the spread of COVID-19. It literally saves lives. I want to encourage all of you to take care of yourselves. Hunker down, follow the public health guidelines that are in place. They're there for your benefit as well as for our entire community. Uh, and even if we can't be together in person right now, I want to tell you we are working hard to make sure that you can stay connected to UM. As you may know, we've created a hub for the many virtual campus events and activities that our team has pulled together to help you continue to connect with your friends to pass the time, to stay healthy, and, and to prepare for your future. Uh, organizers uh, have included awesome events and activities from all your favorite campus groups, including uh, things like online fitness classes, trivia nights, uh, story time, and a whole lot more. Uh, all these events can be found uh, on the UM app or on our uh, Keeping UM Connected website. So please, please check it out. Uh, at the same time, I know you all have been working hard and coordinating uh, closely with your professors to complete this semester. I tell you, I hear stories every day from faculty about how creative and innovative you're being and how seriously you're taking your studies. Uh, look, our faculty members would absolutely rather be back in the classroom with you, uh, but they are working day and night to ensure that your remote learning uh, remains personal individualized, that it is robust, and that you can still achieve your learning objectives. So thank you for, uh, for adapting to this, uh, to this new normal here at the university uh, for the remainder of the semester. But look, obviously this switch to, to remote learning and this need for social distancing, it's brought big changes to all of our lives. Uh, we're spending more time in front of screens, we're dealing with stresses of, of different living, living circumstances and, and other challenges uh, that this situation has created. And, uh, and I also want to recognize that, that for many of you, this situation has, has created significant financial stress. And I want you to know that, that, that I, along with leaders from across the Montana University system, we've been working closely with our elected leaders at the state and federal level to emphasize the importance of uh, supporting our higher ed institutions uh, through this. And most importantly, our students and, and helping to make sure that you all can stay on track in your academic programs. Um, you know, we are, are working through some, uh, some emergency uh, funding for students here on campus. And as you've probably seen in the news, Congress did recently pass a $2 trillion act called the CARES Act uh, to provide support for Americans through this crisis. And, and part of that, thankfully, is uh, some support for students. Um, so we're currently sorting through that legislation and, and working to understand the financial implications of that act and, and what it means for UM and for our students. And, and we, along with higher ed institutions across the country, are seeking guidance from federal officials on the specific guidelines and amounts of funding. And as soon as we have definitive information regarding how that financial aid and relief is, is gonna work, we will absolutely uh, reach out to you. You know, and, and I want to ensure that, as I said at the top, you're doing everything you can to stay healthy physically. But I also want to uh, acknowledge the importance of taking care of yourself uh, spiritually and mentally as well. Um, you know, when my oldest daughter was very little, she'd sometimes uh, get tired in the afternoon and, and, and would occasionally tell her mom and me that she needed to, to go to her room for a little bit to, to recharge her batteries. Um, and I've had to remind myself over this past month that I need to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm taking my daughter's uh, advice and, and taking time to, to recharge my batteries, uh, again, mentally and spiritually. And I want to encourage you to do the same. You know, for some of you, that might mean going for a run. For others, it, it might mean uh, cooking a favorite meal or playing some music. Uh, for others, it might be a hike in the mountains. Um, 
you're lucky enough to be here in Montana, there are plenty of ways to practice social distancing and still enjoy all the outdoor activities that make living here so great. Um, but I want to be clear, um, this situation is causing stress on all of us, and uh, it's important to recognize that and to find ways, like my daughter Margaret, to get those batteries recharged. And, and remember, Curry Health Center is still here for you. Um, they, uh, they have telemedicine as well as telecounseling appointments available. And uh, you, you can see how to, how to get one of those on the website. But, uh, but do take it seriously. Uh, do take care of yourselves. Um, and I want to close just by telling you, again, how impressed I have been with the way you've all adjusted to this uh, new normal, how you've taken so many of these changes in stride. Uh, this challenge uh, is, uh, is, is great, no doubt. Um, and there will be tough days and weeks ahead. Uh, but we are going to get through this. We will be back on the Oval soon, uh, celebrating our grizzly spirit and the, uh, the strength of our UM family. Uh, but until then, take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of each other, and know that we can't wait uh, until you come back home to the university. Thanks, everybody.